Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for today. Few days back, I flashed with the latest QPR2 source based on Android 15, Therfest OS on my Nothing Phone 1. Everything was up to date on my device now, but sadly, this Snapdragon 778G device still running on the oldest version of GPU drivers, that is OpenGL 3.1 at the rate 530.5, dated 7 December 2023. Our channel tries to keep your device up to date on the part of software side via custom ROMs and the custom mods. So if you are serious enough to upgrade your Snapdragon GPU drivers to the latest version 797 extracted from the Quest Meta 3 running on the latest powerful GPU Snapdragon XR2 running on the Qualcomm Adreno GPU which powers the 2.5x higher performance. This video is not a joke, we already created lots of videos for upgrading your Snapdragon device GPU drivers to the latest one. In the last video, we had given you the Adreno GPU drivers version 783.2, but remember that were only for the rooted devices. But today we brought you the latest Adreno GPU drivers version 797 which should work on the rooted or the non-rooted devices. And they are running on the all the Adreno GPU versions above 640. Please watch this video carefully till the end because we had shown how to flash these drivers. We also tested how these drivers drastically improved the performance with 3D Mark test and with real life BGMI gaming test. Now without further delay, let's get started. Let's start with the installation of these drivers. Download the root drivers if your device is rooted with the Magix or the Kernesu. But if your device is non-rooted then you can flash these drivers via TWRP or using the custom recovery of your custom ROM via ADB side load or by direct flashing via TWRP. These drivers are only working on the Snapdragon devices which are running with the Adreno 640 and above version. Rooted device users, just flash the module via Magix or the kernel SU and reboot your device. Now if your device is successfully rebooted to the OS, use the device info to check the driver version. So finally, our Nothing Phone 1 device drivers are upgraded to the version V797. Date 8, 19 September 2024. These are the latest device drivers available till the date as compared to any other device. Hooker driver version is also upgraded to the latest V512.797, so everything got updated but most of you will think installation of such driver is just a gimmick, they will think this doesn't impact the graphics performance of the device, so let's check out the proof. First I will run the GPU graphics test for the Hulkan drivers via Geekbench. Actually to test the graphic performance I will always recommend you to use the most powerful graphics performance testing application called as the 3D Mark. I also tested that in the latter part of this video. I got very minimal score difference for the older and the newer GPU for the Hulkan API in the Geekbench. It is 2419 was 2458. But wait, real magic will be disclosed in the next test that is 3D Mark. This test is the most powerful graphics testing application which offers wide range of graphics testing for the both the Hulkan and the OpenGL API versions of your device. First two were not compatible with the Nothing Phone 1 but later all the tests like Slingshot, Wildlife and the newly added Still Nomad test are available. I already did all the tests with the old V530 and with the new V797 driver versions. You can check the results of these drivers in the chart. Their green highlight shows as the higher results given by the driver versions and can be considered as the winner of the test. The new version V797 outperformed with the highest score of 7 different graphics tests, while older driver version only outperformed for the two different tests. So clear winner is a new driver version 797 which you install from the Quest Meta 3 QR headset which has a powerful GPU with the 2.5x higher performance for the GPU. For the stunning senses with the faster frequency rate, less graphic jitter and the faster rendering of the graphics, which will make your games and the apps buttery smooth. After installation of drivers, I played the BGMI, I am not a gamer but still I can feel the difference between the gaming on this device. Nothing Phone 1 is not a gaming device but it now feels like a gaming device. I played the BGMI with the smooth plus extreme FPS, extreme HDR graphics settings are available in the graphics setting with the new game version. 
that is BJMI 3.5. Everything was pretty smooth on the nothing device, but I really want replies from you guys in the comment section. Please test these drivers and post your positive or negative comments regarding these drivers so I can confirm what I am providing you is really genuine or not. That's it for today guys. If you really like our work then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of new mods to upgrade your older device to the next level of awesomeness. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.